This whole journey started on November 28th, 2022. For 16 weeks, I was to follow Calgary Barbell's 16-week powerlifting program. As a baby to powerlifting, I had no idea what I was getting myself into. Through a lot of pain, frustration, and injuries, I also experienced a lot of determination, satisfaction, and triumph. This whole journey was a learning process, one that I will take away with me forever. Now, 16 weeks later, all of the countless hours in the gym and all the strain I put on my body has led to this, the culmination of my very own experience of Calgary Barbell's 16-week powerlifting program. This is Max Day. But first, let's talk baseline. Before the program, I had a 425-pound squat, a 315-pound bench, and a 525-pound deadlift. Our main goal is to increase our max by as much as possible. And by doing that, I plan to increase my squat and my deadlift. And because of my shoulder injury, I wanted to still hit 315. Will I be able to get it? Well, stay tuned to find out. Well guys, this is it. This is the final video concluding Calgary Barbell's 16-week powerlifting program. I'm really excited about this, but I'm really nervous as well. But let's stop the talking and let's get down to business. I decided to start out my squats at 405 pounds and this was going to be the baseline to see how far I would go. It moved well, although for me it felt heavy, so I decided to move up to 425. That felt good. So I moved up to 440. And you can see how excited I was about that. And just for kicks, I decided to try and put 445 pounds onto the bar, and this is how it went. I actually squatted 445 pounds. Moving on to bench. All I wanted was to get 315. So the first heavy set that I did was 295. And I smoked it. Then came 315. Of course I got a spotter with me. And you'll see that the weight moved pretty well. Not bad at all. But because I haven't practiced benching so heavy in so long, disaster struck and my back spazzed and cramped up from keeping my whole body tight while I was benching. You can see when I'm trying to get up from the bench position that I had trouble getting up and that was because my lower back was killing me at that time and that would have grave consequences for what was to come later. Because of my back spazzing, I found it really difficult to brace properly for my deadlift. My brace felt weak and my lower back was tender for the whole thing. However, I really wanted to hit a new personal record, so I decided to try anyway. I started out with a 475 pound deadlift and even that didn't go well. As you can see, I had trouble picking it up at the beginning. However, I braved on and moved on to 495 pounds. As you can see, my bracing was horrible, which is why my hips shot up first before the weight managed to move up. By this time, I could decide whether to stop there or to keep going, but because I'm a stubborn son of a gun, I decided to try one more deadlift. For my last deadlift, I chose 515 pounds. Using all of the remaining energy I had in me, I lined up for my deadlift and I pulled as hard as I could. After finishing the 515 pounds, 
I knew that that was it for me, and I just had to live with the results that I got. And so, that's how Max Day ended for me. I was exhausted by the end of it, and it took me a good probably three or four days to recover from the ordeal. My central nervous system was fried, and my body was tired as well. I have to say I am a little bit disappointed with how things ended up. Of course, I couldn't have helped it because it was a freak accident. It was something that I couldn't control. Um, but I am really happy with my squat. I'm glad that I went up by 20 pounds. And although I did not get my deadlift PR, maybe in a couple of weeks I'll try again. So yeah, that's pretty much it for me for this series. Thank you so much to all of you who stuck it out with me through the whole thing uh, and saw my progress each and every step of the way. Uh, this was a great experience for me, even though it didn't end the way I wanted it to. And would I try it again? I'll probably try the eight week next time, but uh, I might have a separate video on that next time. Well, for the last time for this series, Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Until then, I'll see you in the next video.